So here we are at the mid and dark. This is directly underneath the College of Winterhold. Now if you've been here before, as part of the College of Winterhold quest line, you might very well notice this item that we're about to uh, come up to. Here it is. As you can see, it's like a Deirdrick gauntlet with the Oblivion logo in the middle. And it's you can activate all the different fingers. Now then, there's these different rings that you can pick up. Now, in this same place, there's a table which has a key to a chest which can be found in the uh, in the library in the College of Winterhold and what you can do you can use the key to unlock that chest that has all these rings in now if you then come back to the place and you put all the rings on this uh, Deirdrick gauntlet we will get something in a moment we can just go onto the right finger <laughs> if we can go on the right finger there we go, and it turns into a fist. Hello, and now we've got four floating skulls. Oh, hello. Ah, so we've got ourselves. Yes. Yeah, going back where you belong. Oh, okay. So he's a Dramora, but instead of wearing Daedric armor like all the other Dramoras, he appears to be wearing uh, red guard gear. And he has a scimitar. Why does Savannah keep walking in front of you? Some wealth. Serana, piss off. There we go, so we had like a Dramora pirate, I suppose. So he's given us a treasure map. There we are. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, so where's that? Right, so here we are. There's a shrine of Talos here. I should point out there's several shrines of Talos, but uh, that's it. So it's this wee little island here. Now, there should be some. Ah, there we go, it's just appeared. Whoa, look at all this lot here. So plenty of goblets, some Debella statues, some cash, loads of emeralds, coin purse, loads of bars of gold, bags of cash, a blessed imperial sword, his locker which contains lots of gold, potion to resist cold, a few bits and pieces, and a treasure chest here, which has got some rubies and some gold. There we go, quite a nice little stash there. Because if you'd have killed him, you didn't really get a right lot, or you'll get some Hammerfell gear and uh, and a scimitar, and that was it. So it's certainly worth letting him go so you can grab his booty. Little puzzle we've uh, managed to solve here. Now, you'll probably remember in one of my previous Skyrim videos that uh, one of my companions, Uthgur the Unbroken, mysteriously disappeared during. Um, a mission to, what was it called again, Wolf Skull Cave? Yep. Well, we found her. She's here. She's inside the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun. Oh and my if, good. And if we go to steal from her coffin, here's all the weapons and things that I gave her. Including, look, all the dragon scale stuff. Oh my good. So I gave her a full set of dragon scale armour. And she still managed to get herself killed. So, I'm swiping that lot. Right, so that's solved one mystery. And now I can't walk. Scooby-dooby-doo. Uh. <clears throat>